Okay, guys, this is our wild card reading. This message is for whoever it resonates with and whoever needs it the most. It's not uh, any sign specific uh, reading. So it's for whoever it resonates with and whoever needs it the most. Our wild card. Let's pull the energy on the person coming forward. Pull the energy for the person coming forward. We've got someone that is trying to find missing pieces of their self, but also missing pieces of the connection you have going. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure about their self, what they were truly want, things like that. Sometimes we lose ourselves in trying to please others and please the world. Next one, we've got... Ow, waiting for a clear answer and on something. So, yeah. Mm. Just being in doubt and anticipation of uh, news or something. What's the next energy? This is our wild card person. Whoever's coming forward, let's pick their energy up. Oh, they in love. They in love. They are enchanted and infatuated like real, real love. But this is also, sometimes this card will indicate there's a physical distance between us because you'll, you'll see she's not actually there with, with him. So we've got someone that is really uh, stressed and worried that they've probably met someone. It might be an LDR relationship, long distance relationship. Uh, this person is trying to find their self, trying to find the missing pieces of uh, the connection, how to get the connection going. But they're also stressed and worried about um, the connection. Uh, is it real? Are you are you feeling it the way that they are feeling it? Mm. Is it real? It's almost like saying, is this real? Is it real? So... Let's pull the other energy, see what we've got. This is for our wild card. Mm, let's pick up the energy for our wild card. Whoever needs it most, whoever it's going to resonate with. Let your friends help, help you ask and accept support from others. Ooh, let your friends help you. Ow. Let's hold on to that energy. I might need to clarify that one. Not sure yet. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Oh. What else? What else? This is our wild card energy. Whoever needed it most and who it's going to resonate with. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. What else? What else? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Wow, staying optimistic. So on this one, I don't really think I need to clarify because what I'm sort of hearing is that this person is uh, asking advice because like I said, I'm pretty sure we have picked up a long distance, a relationship where we have met like through social media, something like that, where we haven't actually been physically together. If we have been physically together, there's now a distance between us. So, yeah. And your person with this let, let your friends help you is probably asking advice. Advice. What do you think? Because they're not sure. It's almost like it's too good to be true. It's too good that they're having doubts. They're anticipating uh, the worst. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot on this one. This is for my wild card. My person that needed it the most. And we got cards that are hit the floor. Let's pull those up. I may take them and I may not. Uh, hmm. Let's
let's hold them. Let's lay, let's leave them here, guys. I think we got two. We're gonna leave those there. I'm not feeling them yet, but I'm I'm doubting it. <laughs> I'm doubting my instinct on it. So let's hold them. This is for my wild cards. My wild cards. Who needs it most? Let's see what's going on. There we go. We've got a five of swords. Yep, their brain is working on them. They're talking about their connection with you, with their friends or, you know, family, what, what, whoever is their support system because their brain is telling them they're anticipating that it's just too good to be true. Uh, they got the wheel next. I like it. It's upright. Mm -hmm. feeling, feeling lucky. But at the same time, that wheel brings in a pattern, a pattern for us. And it's coming in on that release your ex. So they are worried that this might be a pattern, a repeat of something they've been through before. What else? What else? Because, you know, this person is like soulmate. Getting that feeling like it's a soulmate. We've got a king of cups. They're trying not to allow their emotions to overtake them. That's Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, trying to stay calm and, and grounded. But it's hard to ground. That king of cups is sitting out in the water. <laughs> yeah, he is. What else? Um, stay optimistic. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. They have all hopes, all hopes that this is going to be, a, you know, the real thing. Uh, but also hoping for an uh, offer of serious committed relationship that it's real, true. That Knight of Cups brings in Gemini energy. We have Gemini, Scorpio, and Scorpio energy that's entered in. Whether that's the sign or not, it's the energy that's at play. Let's see the two cards that fell on the floor. <clears throat> Got the Magician. Ooh, Magician. Let's hold that energy and the full card. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So, with these two cards... This person is, like I said, they're anticipating the worst and they're worried you're not being authentic, maybe just playing, you know, stringing them along or whatever. That can be the magician card because sometimes our magician can be a little sneaky. But at the same time, and that would make them feel foolish if they found out that it wasn't real, that they were, had just been played and strung along. But at the same time, they want to take that leap of faith and they want to manifest this, this, this offer, this seriousness because soulmate, they're starting to feel a connection on a soulmate level with these two cards. Yes. Ooh, I like that. Let's see this person's energy going out in front of them for the next couple of days to the next couple of weeks. We're using the Moonology cards so that we can tap into the undercurrents of their emotions and their thoughts. Let's see their energy going out in front of them. Next couple of days, next couple of weeks. This is my wild cards. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Ooh. Ooh. Hard work is paying off. I don't, that, it's just the new moon in Capricorn is, is what's really popped for me. And that is like, um, <clears throat> On the mental level, the mental level, they are working their butt off trying to figure out, is this real or not? Am I being played? Uh, the fact that they're working on that mental level of don't allow myself to be drowned in the emotions of this because their brain is telling them horrible stuff up here on our anticipating the worst possible stuff. So, yeah, it's paying off for them to remain calm and not break the connection with you or freak out and just, you know, come to the uh, decision that, oh, I'm just being played. No, they're trying to keep an open mind. Expect powerful changes, new moon eclipse. Ooh, powerful changes in their way of thinking and feeling. Hopefully, yeah, it's powerful i'm taking it as a swing to the good side of they're very open-minded and feeling more confident 
in that energy going forward. Take time to breathe out, disseminating them. Yeah, they're holding their breath, holding their breath, anticipating the worst. Uh, they're going to become more relaxed, more relaxed, more trusting, more relaxed. Let's see your energies going together. Energy going out together. This is the next couple of days to the next couple of weeks. This is my wild card and their partner going forward together. That energy combined. What do we get? What are we going to get? Let's see. First one, trust. Trust. Building trust. Uh-huh. Building trust. That's another another full card. Uh, building trust. Just breathe. Relaxing. Relaxing. And that's a four swords. Our four air. Relaxing. Uh, clearing our mind. Coming out of that monkey brain chatter so much. And relaxing into... Uh, it, it's just in my mind that this person is stringing me along and it's not real because the, it, to them it's very real. It's like soulmate. What else? We've got dreams coming true. Yeah. And we had one stuck to it. Observe. Woo! Observing your dreams coming true. Woo! I like that. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and get messages from this person that is Come forward. This is our wild card energy. Allow their person to speak. Through the cards, please. Whatever they want to say, heart, mind. Share with us. It's my wild card. Just run away with me. Just run away with me. Oh. Can you feel me with you? And you feel so mate. Like I said, this person, you know, they're worried because they are feeling it a strong connection. I'm so confused. Yeah, they uh, that I'm. I really want to say I feel confused because it's like, is this too good to be true? Are you feeling the same way I'm feeling? Is this real? Oh, there we go. We've got ooh, ooh, two trying to jump here. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Please try to understand how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm confused and don't know for sure. If you're my destiny, you're my destiny. Oh, gosh. Let's shuffle it around, get some more energy on the deck for my wild card. I can't wait to touch you, smell you, and just breathe you in. Ooh, yeah. Anything else with this deck for my wild card? Mm -hmm. I'm offering you something real. I'm offering you something real. Ooh, that's the uh, Knight of Cups energy, that Gemini energy we picked up. Mm -hmm. This is what they're really hoping for. And that's what they are offering, but they're hoping that realness is coming back to them. The next card, I never thought I could feel this vulnerable. Yeah. Ooh. Let me shuffle one more time on this one, and then we'll switch decks real quick. This is for my wild card and their person. We got one on the floor. Let's see what that one is, guys. Ow. And it says, it's time to let go. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear of the energy going out in front of us. Dreams coming true. Relaxing in and trusting more. Bottom of the deck before we switch. I need you to make the first move. Mm -hmm. Need you to make the first move. Let's throw that one out. Let's switch the decks over to the butterflies. The butterflies. Let's put the energy for my wild card. Who's needing this most? Let's let their person speak through this deck. Let's connect with their person. Allow them to speak and share. You turn me on in so many ways. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? This is for my wild cards. Whoever needed it the most, let them speak their heart and mind. It, this was meant to be. 
This was meant to be. Ooh, I like that. Got one sideways here, guys. Let me pull it without dropping the whole deck. I'm scared of losing you. I'm scared of losing you. Ooh. I'm a complete mess. I'm a complete mess. Is there another one here? Maybe this one. I want to feel you next to me. I want to feel you next to me. And there might be one more here. Give in. Give in. Yes. Yes, and that may be also them chiming through their own brain of just give in, this is real. It's all in your head that it's not real. Let's shuffle the deck and put some more energy on it. This is for my wild cards. Let their person speak, please. Share their heart, their mind, whatever they want to say with the cards. For my wild cards. Whoever needed it most. Mm -hmm. I feel so intimidated. Ow. Intimidated by the circle. Yeah, circumstances. Yeah, they're feeling, you know. Let's go ahead and switch decks to our heart deck. This is, uh, I forgot. Let's look at the bottom energy. I wish I could be honest with you. Ooh. Ooh, and then I'm so in love with you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ow, there's so much I need to say. Okay, we're going to stop with that deck. We're going to sit here and go through them all. Because I was, yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm so in love with you. Mm, let's go to the heart deck. This is Conversation with Counterparts. It's our big mama deck. I love these cards. Let's put our energy on it. This is for my wild cards and their person. Please let the person speak. Wow. I'm afraid I made a mess of things. Use your intuition of what that is saying. Mm -hmm. And it might be that their fear is holding them back. You know, that they feel like they're being played or something. Mm. Wow, this is for my wild cards and their person. Let the person speak to these cards, please. Oh, my heart is safe with you. We're pinging out into the energy in front of us because this is observing your dreams coming true and that four of air being able to relax and feel safe. It's like, uh, uh, did I make a mess of things? Because my heart is safe with you. Wow, okay. Please accept me as I am in this moment. Yeah. Let me shuffle a little bit more, guys. Just for my wild card and their person. I need time to reflect and expand. What else? Your love gives me strength. Oh, I like that one. Just for my wild cards and their person. Messages come through. Let's rebuild together. Mm. Yeah, so I'm wondering if them anticipating the worst. Uh, thinking the worst. Thinking that it's not possible if they actually uh, maybe tried to break the connection with us. Because they're talking, like I said, getting some counsel from friends and family, you know, on the situation. So, yeah. Because it's let's rebuild that together. Rebuild that connection. I want to grow together. What else for my wild cards? Their person, let the person speak. I'm loving you with every heartbeat. And I'm afraid of loving you as fully as I do. Oh, is there anything else here? Please forgive me. So, yeah. Hmm. We're miles apart, but you're always in my heart. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, that does confirm that the physical distance that we have between us, uh, the LDR relationship. Okay, guys. That's all I have for us. 
Um, I want to send you love and light and many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.